Ladies and gentlemen, by way of introduction, this is a film about trickery and fraud, about lies. Almost any story is almost certainly some kind of lie. But not this time. No, this is a promise. During the next hour, everything you hear from us is really true and based on solid fact. You're talking about Elmir. Elmir? Elmir? Who is Elmir? I am not a professional actor. He's a leading actor in this movie. His profession, it's true, is painting, painting fakes. Elmir's a true faker. Here, for instance, is a Van Dungen by Elmir. Van Dungen studied it carefully and then swore that he painted it himself. He's now known as the greatest art forger in the world. Well, I don't admit anything I just talk about. Because he's scared. I mean, you know, there, there could be a jail sentence hanging over his head. My personal feelings about Elmir are very mixed. He has developed a fiction about his life, and to destroy that fiction would tear down the whole castle that he's built <laughs> of his illusions. The illusion, for example, that, that he has not broken any law. As long as people are joyous, and it's a pleasure, why should they have it? The illusion that the world has always taken advantage of him. Why they shouldn't have it? Why? If you were to put it to Elmir that he had taken advantage of the world, that he had cheated people, you'd be horrified. Here is, I'll have to mark it in, on this tiny island is where the hoaxes were hatched, Ibiza. One island, two Ibizas. The serious, indeed the very sober part, is part of Spain, and the other, an island in the sun, Life magazine calls it, where restless souls may find each other. Everybody minds everybody else's business very intensely. <laughs> Several months ago, I read an article about Elmir de Hori, and I was so impressed that I decided to come from Minnesota to Ibiza in the hope of meeting Elmir, and now, I've become his bodyguard. That's Mark speaking, Elmir's friend. He takes his duties seriously. Elmir himself swears <laughs> that he goes in daily dread of being murdered. When this, that segment was shot uh, for the film F for Fake, uh, I have to give you a little bit of backstory, which I think you'll, you'll find amusing. So there, the film crew is there at Elmir's house, and they're shooting Elmir, interviewing him, and I'm lurking around in, in the background. So at one point, Wells says, you know, we have to give this guy some raison d'etre to be in this film. <laughs> so Wells sits me down in, in this chair, and he says, this is what I want you to say. So that story was completely invented. But when Orson Welles tells you to say something, you say it. <laughs> so I, I wrote the, the true version uh, in my book. It's called The Forger's Apprentice, The Life of the World's Most Notorious Artist. It was obviously the most extraordinary chapter in my life to be able to know this man and also witness this remarkable encounter between Wells and Elmir. Wells and Elmir went into the most extraordinary metaphysical conversation they talked about love, art, the nature of, of life, existence, life in the hereafter, religion, sex, politics. They covered the whole gamut. And uh, unfortunately, as is quite often the case, uh, most of that all ended up on the editing room floor. Unfortunately. 